Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I felt like making some spaghetti. Now I do not make my spaghetti from scratch as far as the sauce, but what I get is really good. So to start off, I put about a teaspoon or a little bit more of olive oil and then I put my onion and bell pepper and I let that cook maybe for a couple of minutes then what I'm going to do is I'm, I use, I don't use hamburger most of the time, uh, but you can use whatever meat. You can use hamburger, but I like hot Italian sausage. And I'm going to put all of that in here, and that's about five links. So let me let that cook, and then I'm just going to take it out of the casing and just um, start everything to cooking. Okay, that's been cooking for a couple of minutes, and so... I'm just going to take the sausage out of the casing and chop it up further with my spatula or spoon, whatever, which one ever you want to use. I should have done this off camera, so I won't make you watch. I will just show you when I put all the hot Italian sausage in and um, chopping it up okay I have all my Italian sausage in and what I'm going to do let me get on this side what I'm going to do is just chop it up to make it look like ground beef now you don't have to chop it all up you can use a you can make it out of meatball if you want to or you grind it up I'm not going to have it crumbly as crumbly as um, hamburger so I'm going to brown this and make sure it's totally done no red in the middle and let that cook and I'll be right back okay guys my meat is brown the way I like it and um, I have my spaghetti boiling right now not going to make a lot of spaghetti, it's just me, but I can save the sauce because I don't mix the two because the spaghetti absorbs the sauce too much and the next day is too dry. So if you keep your sauce and your spaghetti separate, then, you know, everything is like the first day. So, what I use now is, okay, let me focus that, Bertelli tomato and basil. I use this and I'm going to use the whole thing. And what I do, I save my jar so I can put this back in the jar and when I have spaghetti the next day or the day after that, I still have my jar. So I'm going to let that cook a little bit. Well, before I do that, I am going to put additional seasoning. I'm going to put a little more garlic powder. Maybe about a half a teaspoon. Sorry, the phone was ringing. 
So what I did is I put some pepper, a little bit of garlic, about a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, or you can put as much, I'm not salt, powder. Um, and now I'm going to put additional basil, maybe about, not quite a teaspoon, maybe about a three-fourth of a teaspoon or whatever you want. I like the taste of basil. Now see how that looks? Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. Okay. That is so good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to let that cook for a little bit longer. Oops. Excuse me. I'm just trying to do my uh, focus my camera again and set it. Okay, there we go. And the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to put You can see that sliced mushrooms. You don't have to, but I love sliced mushrooms and spaghetti. Okay, my sauce has been simmering. that. Now I'm going to put the sliced mushrooms and I left about a tablespoon of the the juice that came with it. So what I'm going to have is my spaghetti and I don't have any cucumbers. I'll have some cucumbers tomorrow. But I like cucumbers on the side. I love cucumbers. And I will have me some Texas toast. You can buy it in a freezer section of your grocery store and just pop it in the um, oven or your toaster oven for a few minutes. I think it's 400, but read the directions. And uh, that's basically it. So when I put everything together, I'll come back and show you and we'll give it a little taste. Just a second and I'll be back. Okay guys, this is how it looks. Uh, like I said, I don't mix the spaghetti and my sauce together, but I want to take a taste. I know it's going to be good. And guys, if, they, if the noodles look, spaghetti looks darker, excuse my dog, he has a wheezing sound, birth defect when he eats too much. Um, I got organic wheat noodles. I want to kind of try it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's delicious, guys. That is so, 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 so good. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching my little cooking segment. Spaghetti uh, with a hot Italian sausage and mushrooms, bell pepper, onion. You can use whatever meat you want to use and a little Texas toast on the side. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I want you to do that right now. Click that red subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can get more of my videos thank you for joining me guys have a good evening